Uh, let's look at an overview of how to create a internet blog. You'll be using this to create a online newspaper for one of your projects in the online broadcast summer camp. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go to google.com. Uh, here you're going to need to sign in. Everything you do, you're going to be using your Gmail. So with the sign in, go ahead and type in your Gmail, type in your password, click sign in. From here, you're going to go to the features at the top. You're going to select more, then go to blogger. Now, blogger is where your internet newspaper, uh, this is what you're going to use to create your internet newspaper. Uh, from here, you won't immediately go to this page. Um, you'll go to a page that will ask you just to verify your account, and there will be a, um, a little option to click next at the bottom. And then once you click next, this is what your next page will look like. Um, from here, once you make it to this page, you are going to go to a new blog. And here you're going to give it a title and an address. Uh, the title will be the name of your newspaper. The address is going to be the website, how we're going to find it. Um, I'm going to label mine Ascension Lion News, really cool title. And then my address, I'm going to try and get it the exact same title. Let's see if it's not taken. Cool, I'm going to change it to Ascension Lions News. Ascension Lions News, and it is available. This blog address is available. Uh, from here, you choose a template. There's many options. I'm going to go with simple. You can play around, see what you like, what you prefer. From here, you're going to go to a page that, um, okay, from here it says your, uh, your blog is created. Ascension Lions News is what I called mine. Uh, you're going to see some options, create a new post. That will be a brand new article to add on your online newspaper. And then you'll see uh, just more options. These you can play around with and see what they do. Uh, view blog will see uh, what it looks like when people go to it. But the first thing you need to do is start creating, start posting. So you will go to this right here, the orange pencil, the orange tab with the pencil. And it looks like a Word document. Um, now, your post title is the name of the article on your newspaper. So, maybe I am going to do one on the Zimmerman trial. That would be the name of my article. Um, now, here, this is just like a Word document. Uh, there's many options with it. There's text, there's pictures, there's video, uh, there's links, there's all kind of cool stuff on here. Um, for the sake of time, because uh, I don't want to use up this whole uh, screencast just kind of creating one and then posting it, I am going to open up a new tab on my computer. I'm going to go to one of my favorite websites. The co-creator, Guy Kawasaki, one of my favorite uh, business leaders. He used to be an evangelist for Apple. He helped co-author this site right here. It's, it's kind of like a... Um, it's like a magnet. It draws all the best articles on the internet uh, to this one spot. Uh, I am going to type in, search Zimmerman trial, Let's see if anything comes up. Okay, uh, nothing's going to come up like that. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go to Google. Type in Zimmer in trial. And what you're going to want to do when you're creating your article is you're going to want to read uh, about whatever topic it is you're pouring on. So let's pretend that I am um, reading about this and I want to report on it. So I'm looking at Fox News. They got a nice article here. It's a breakdown of the current uh, progress on Zimmerman. Uh, what I may want to do, I may want to grab pictures from these websites. I may want to use some of the facts or quotes uh, from here. Or uh, because it's my own newspaper, I'm going to want to summarize. So I'm looking at all this. 
and I would go online, I would find, I would research uh, what it is I'm reporting on, then I can come back here and um, Zimmerman trial text. Um, I can add pictures, uh, for example. Uh, on your computer, you should, uh, if you're not sure how to do this, you can Google it. How to screenshot. Like that, for example. And then from here, I can um, insert pictures. Let's see. Right here, insert image. I'm going to want to upload. Let's say I'm going to choose file. Um, now, your computer is going to be a little different from mine. But basically, I took a screenshot of a picture I liked. Uh, if you're not sure how to do these or how to make your screenshots just certain images, uh, Google it. And if not, uh, email me and I can uh, send you some resources for, for that. Um, there we go, that's the picture. Okay, it's uploading the picture and I am going to click add selected and that picture is now in my article and then I may add some websites maybe there's a website called ZimmerTrial.com as a reference for people to go and look at uh, this is what you customize you do your um, your article whatever it is that you are uh, communicating this is this is just like a word document you insert pictures text video and when you're done you click publish now you can preview it before you publish click preview and mine's not very fancy. Um, just it's got some text, got a website, got a picture, it's got some pretty cool stuff on here. Um, obviously, I would take my time and make this actually something people would want to read. Um, so going back to and when you're done, you preview, you like it, you can click save, and it'll save it on your account. And then click publish. That means it's ready uh, for people to go online and look at it. So when you hit publish. I can, uh, this pops up because with your Gmail, you're hooked to Google Plus. You can share it with people. You can share on your Google Plus account. I'm not going to share it just because there's nothing there. Um, there's nothing there to share. And if you want to send, like whenever you need to send a link to me, your teacher, or to the other classmates, or if you want to send it to your family and friends, you will click share right here. And if you did want to share it, you can add um, you can add emails so you can just add somebody's email I'm gonna delete public and I added an email right here so this could be uh, sent to your teacher or to a family member or to a friend click share and it's email now what you may want to also do is um, click view. Now remember you created your website. Uh, like mine's ascensionlinesnews.blogspot.com. Uh, if you just simply copy this link and then sent it, um, either pasted it in your uh, submission on 3D Game Lab or if you just sent that link right there to somebody uh, they will be able to get it and look at it as well because that's your online internet newspaper alright with this you just need to spend some time with it, play around with it um, if you got questions you can email me uh, you can talk amongst your classmates so let me know if you're having any issues with this and I can um, um, do a detailed tutorial on maybe certain aspects of this you know if you're really wondering how do I get video in there and uh, maybe I don't want the video to play right away and play um, you know let the person that comes to the website click on it and play you know if you get little details like that don't be afraid to uh, email uh, Mr. Denham 